Hi, what's up you guys? It's me Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and I'm here with another one of my no craft supplies snail mail videos. So <laughs> I'm actually filming this on the same day as the previous one but I just wanted to cut it into smaller pieces because it will otherwise be way too much. But I wanted to start this video with something that is actually one of my favorite things to use in snail mail and that is vintage books. So I went to the thrift store or vintage shop or whatever and I got these vintage books. Just check with your grandpa, grandma or um, I don't know, aunts and uncles because I know that both my, my grandma and my mother also have really pretty botanical books uh, but they won't allow me anywhere near them with scissors. <laughs> so what I do use them for two things. I have some fussy cut out pieces here. I use, I cut the pieces out. Just put this up here. It's getting a little bit darker. I don't know why it's still in the afternoon. I cut out the pieces and I use these for decorating. So for example, I will put these on an envelope or on a card or, you know, I can also just put them in a pretty bag and send them to my pen pal. So I have all of these, some of these, um, yeah, these two I actually got from a pen pal and you can see that because I cut these out without all the white and <laughs> these still have quite a lot of white space. Um, yeah, so that's just some examples. Uh, you can use these for decorating and then also you have these very old pages and they are actually great to use for decorating as well. So what you do is you just tear off a piece and you put some flowers in front or some other picture in front or what you can also do is just um, rip a piece off and then use a black pen to do some drawing and it will instantly look very pretty. And what I also really really like is to stamp pictures on this. I might sh show you some examples later. Then something else that I found in these old stores, but you can find them anywhere, are these uh, playing cards. So, you know, you can even use regular playing cards, but these are actually from this game where you have four of the same and you have to collect all of them. I don't know. Anyway, um, these are very, very pretty and you can use them uh, and what I did was I put some dried flowers on the back and I sent them to a pen pal or you can just send them like these or you can even cut out the pictures so just you know look around see what you might find they're usually very very cheap this is a new crop supply video but you could also use these to wrap some washi tape around and then in my previous video I already showed you um, that you could use magazine cutouts to decorate and give away to your pen pal and I now wanted to show you how I make a little booklet with stuff that I have in my house and <laughs> I'm going to use magazines and some of this pretty wrapping paper so again it's not a craft, it's not craft supplies it's just wrapping paper you can even use recycled wrapping paper or you know just whatever you like
So these are two of the cards that I decorate. Okay, so this is with some wrapping paper that I kept and then I made a little label with some of the craft paper and it just says for you and meal tag. Obviously, it, it's not really pretty handwriting and I can do way better, but always when there's a camera <laughs> pointed at me, I get a little stressed. And then this one I actually really, really like. I want to make a little random fact about me booklet because I have a new pen pal and I don't know, it's always a fun way to include some more information about yourself, just some random facts and I don't know, I always find it quite fun. Anyway, I used some wrapping paper uh, as a background because the picture that's on the other side of this paper is actually invisible now, so I'm really happy about that. And then I just cut out these butterflies that were in uh, actually an ad, I think, uh, of the magazine that I was flipping through. I've already said this, but I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a no craft supply video and literally everyone, I think about 25 to 30 people responded and everyone said yes. So <laughs> I'm really excited to share this to you. I talked about using gift wrap and uh, pretty gift bags, but I didn't talk about ribbon yet. Mm. Always when I visit my grandma's birthday, she gets these pretty ribbons and I remember this one so well. It was wrapped around a black chocolate box, so obviously <laughs> obviously, uh, my grandma just took out the chocolate chocolates and gave me the box and the ribbon because she saw me <laughs> looking at them. And I can just use this to either create a pretty little bow to wrap up a little gift or uh, my letter because I don't know about you guys but I quite often wrap up my letters with some ribbon I think it looks really pretty and then I also have this I don't know what you call it but it's some sort of uh, I don't know it's pretty <laughs> it's a funny looking ribbon and this one again from a box of chocolates chocolates are usually wrapped in the prettiest ways and these two are actually from my dad's birthday they're a little bit more manly uh, this is just some baker's twine, some thick baker's twine, and it's a great and lightweight yeah, way to wrap up a letter. So, there's that. I also wanted to show you this. I was, going, I was looking at my desk, going through uh, some of the things that I still want to show you, and I found this envelope. This is an envelope that I made simply by uh, taking a piece, taking a page, sorry, out of a uh, magazine and then using a template to create a little envelope and I think it looks really really pretty Yes, so I was talking about my grandma's birthday this, this is actually something that a lot of grandmas also have They are doilies Nowadays we only know doilies from crafting I think or at least that's how I um, See them nowadays, but these are actually little napkins that people put underneath the coffee or the teacups so as you can imagine a lot of grandmas have these so just go through or at least ask for permission and then go through a closet because you don't, never know what you might find um so keep doilies i saw someone paint them with watercolors which i think is pretty smart by the way full disclosure i did buy these these are not for my grandma but <laughs> i know it's something grandmas have but I don't know if you guys know this about me, but before I started this blog, I um, started or I had my own food blog. I still have it, but it's a little bit less active. But for that, I bought a lot of napkins. These are just some designs I wanted to show you, but I have tons more. So I don't know. I think they look really cute as a background for something. But I also heard that a lot of people who do scrapbooking or smash booking, I think, uh, use these pictures. I don't know how, but they take off one layer and then glue it down I think so I just wanted to share that with you but I also think it's just really cute um, to add to a package to make it look nice especially this one is my favorite or oh, this one with the birds and napkins are usually not very expensive as well I just checked my camera and unfortunately it's getting quite dark um, which makes it harder for my camera to focus and for things to look pretty so I think I'm gonna leave it at this for now but I still still have so many more things I want to show you like something that is inside this old newspaper <laughs> so if you would like to know what is inside this newspaper and what other ideas I have for a no craft supply snail meal video um, please subscribe to my channel and I would really be really really happy if you would leave a comment down below maybe you have some ideas of your own that you'd like to share and if you would give me a thumbs up 
Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to have a say in which videos I'm going to make next. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.